I mean, documentary films, to me, adhere to the same standards that any film do in terms of dramatic um, structure or in terms of uh, it's a question of good films and bad films. But um, documentary, uh, I think, has the same dramatic values. It's, so there's such a wide, 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 there, there are documentaries that are journalistic, there are documentaries that are totally character driven. It has such, it's such a wide, wide uh, variety of, of filmmaking that, that comes under the, 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 the title of documentary. I was scared. I was scared. When the first time I, I had a real job as a cameraman. But you have to realize we weren't working with video equipment then, either videotape or, or with memory cards. We were working with film. I think it caused people to be, uh, maybe uh, have a lot more discipline in certain skills to, in, in order to be assured that they were, in fact, getting on, on film what they thought they were getting. But um, I was, I mean, a certain amount of fear is not bad either because it keeps you on, on your toes. But uh, I certainly, um, I didn't start out fully formed as a, as a skilled cameraman. I made a lot of mistakes and I learned by a lot of mistakes. I work in a very collaborative way. Um, the assistant that I work with, the sound person that I work with, I, I hope, hope it's a very respectful one. And um, I consult with them. I, I'm open to their ideas too. Because I think when you, everyone has ideas. I mean, ultimately, the director is the person who has to say, yes, this is the way we're going to go. When I'm filming, they often can't even do that because we're in a situation where I have to be making decisions and have to be making spontaneous split-second decisions. But I do normally seek um, and, and um, really welcome other people's ideas about, about things. Um, I f I'll filter them through my consciousness. I'll reject some and, and take others. But I hope my, my colleagues feel comfortable giving me suggestions, as I hope the director that I work in feels comfortable um, getting them from me. Um, otherwise, I wonder why they would even hire me. You know, I, I'll usually have as much discussion as I can with the director about what it is they're trying to achieve. There might be things that I can read to do research. Um, two, hopefully I can scout locations. Two, um, sometimes but not always meet the characters involved. I need, I think, to do my best work, I need to in some way make the subject my own. I have a very particular relationship to the, su to the subject. It's not simply a question of fulfilling the director's goals, but, but I do need to do that as well. But I think I can do it, do that best when I find a particular way to enter into the subject and make it somehow my own. And one of the ways that I'm most interested and excited to do that is to find the mystery in it the mystery about a particular character, what makes him or her tick, what makes them act the way they do, um, whatever the mystery might be about a particular subject. You know, I've had lots of discussions over the years about this, and I, as you suggest, started out in, in film. Yes, they have a different, a little different quality, um, but in terms of something being more immediate, I. I question that. I doubt it, really. Um, it might have early on, simply because it was lit more flatly, it, it was, uh, there was something just generally more flat about video, uh, more, it was noisier, grainier, but that's less and less the case, particularly with high definition video. You don't see the immediate results of of film until you don't see the results until film is processed. 
And film is much, much more costly than video. I think the people who grew up with film are much more, um, I think, generally much more thinking about editing um, than people who simply working in video. I mean, even now, though, when I'm working in video, and I'm wor I work with, in, in, with solid-state video where I'm f shooting on memory cards that can hold two hours. I mean, and you can have two, uh, two, hour, uh, two, two slots. You can shoot four hours of video. It used to be that we could only shoot uh, 10 minutes. It, d it does result in people maybe shooting too much and... Uh, that it's in terms of video, it's it's it does no it does not necessarily a, a, an advantage to have so much shooting. You, I mean, it it maybe it maybe uh, limits your your critical faculties. You just say, oh, it doesn't matter. We I'll just we just shoot endlessly, endlessly, endlessly. You know, you might be doing a film. Uh, it could be you could be doing a journalistic film and. And, and, and you, I mean, I don't know what you believe, whether you believe there is such a thing as true evil or that people do evil things, but you might do something where people who have either done evil things or they've, the, the, the results of their actions have caused other human beings uh, huge damage, and maybe you film them and, and they reveal themselves in ways that... Uh, are going to affect the way people look at them. It might not be in a positive light. Um, I think then, if they've signed releases, you know, you're probably going to, it was always your intention, you're going to present them in the way that they feel like they, uh, you know, should be presented in the way they present themselves. If I didn't agree with them, I would uh, try to um, convince them of that. Um, if, if, um, I couldn't, then I'm not sure what I would do. I would have to th really consider uh, in each case what that means for the film, what that, what that would mean for the person. I think that people, I mean, have to generally kind of live with how they present themselves. If they know they're being filmed and they've signed releases, I mean, that's part of it. But I do think I would always consider it I wouldn't willfully want to damage somebody. It's a complex question. It's a good question. I don't know. What do you think?